All right, people, here's the deal. Over the last month or so, I've been showing you how to make a CNC machine out of old CD-ROM drives and then showing you all the cool things that you can do with it. The hope being to inspire creative thinking and increase knowledge. And even though this week's project didn't work out so well, my hope is that it will still impart valuable knowledge. In other words, I just couldn't get this stupid project to work, so I'm going to pawn it off as valuable knowledge in order to make myself look better. Okay, enough beating around the bush, let's sketch out the project. This final chapter of the CNC machine videos will be a milling machine, i.e. a drilling machine that can engrave wood or circuit boards. So the parts needed are fairly simple. A drill bit and some type of motor that spins it at a high speed in order to drill through materials. What we'd do is attach it to the Z-axis so that we could use the CNC machine to carve and drill holes. I began as simply as possible, sourcing a motor. Continuing to reuse parts from the old CD-ROM drives, I found this motor that raises and lowers the drive tray. It also has this cool geared up and down mechanism. Just keep that in mind for later. I removed the motor and attached this little motor drill head that I had ordered online. And you can find it at the project page below. I wired it up to 9 volt power supply and we have ourselves a nice little drill. Using some hose clamps and hot glue, I mounted it to the Z axis. So to test it out, I'm going to be using balsa wood, which is a soft pulp like wood. Powering up the CNC machine, plugging in the Arduino and opening up gerbil controller, I positioned the drill bit just over the wood. Use a step down setting of 0.1 or lower because the slower you drill down, the more effective the drilling should be. Powering on the drill bit, you can see our first problem. This cheap little drill kit is very wobbly, which off the bat makes it highly ineffective. But pushing on, I lower the drill bit, and sure enough, it starts drilling a hole in the wood, even though it's an unnecessarily large hole. Continuing to step it down, the wobbling eventually lessens, but because of the instability of the drill mount, as well as the instability of each axis, drilling down too far, or moving in the X and Y directions, causes the drill bit to tilt, or the axis to bind. And although I knew what the results would be, I decided to test it out on a circuit board as well, just out of curiosity. After several minutes of patient drilling and stepping down 0.01 steps at a time, it did eventually drill through the copper to the perf board, but functionally it's useless. So what we need is a sharper, faster, more stable drill. My thought was to use a Dremel tool with a CNC routing bit at the end of it, but a Dremel is way too heavy for this little machine. So instead I got this flexible extension adapter for the Dremel. So mounting that to the Z-axis and giving it a spin, it very easily drills into the wood and I can even slowly move it in the X and Y direction. So it would be possible to mill and route wood you go very slow because going at a fast or even a normal speed the axes will still bind just because I built this thing very flimsily. Trying out the circuit board amazingly it very easily drilled completely through it. As far as moving it in any other axis though unless it moved very very slowly it would still bend or tilt the drill bit instead of moving it. So this method could potentially work at a very slow pace, but the results are definitely less than spectacular. The problem is that the axes are very flimsy and the Z-axis doesn't have enough torque. Fixing the axes means completely redoing the whole CNC machine to make it tighter and more stable, which I'm not going to do in this video. But one idea I had for fixing the torque issue with the Z-axis was to use this section of the CD drive that we stole the motor from. Since we now need a motor with precise control, we're limited to either a stepper motor or a servo motor. So I tried mounting a stepper motor that I stole from another CD-ROM drive, but unfortunately the gear teeth don't match up. Then I thought of mounting a servo motor in place of the original motor, which turned out to be very promising, but unfortunately there's no easy way to control it with a gerbil controller software. In short, that was my experience with trying to make a CNC milling machine, and it didn't go so well. But let me know if you have better success or worse failures in the comments below. What idea would you like me to cover next? Submit or vote for your ideas at tinkernut.com ideas. Click here to watch my last video, and if you'd like to support my show, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, or donate at tinkernut.com donate. 
All right, that's it for this tutorial from morgototinkernut.com.